All right, third degrees, let's cover a heel kick and a step spin heel kick. This is the first appearance in Songam Taekwondo forms of the heel kick, so let's cover exactly what it is. A hook kick, I chamber like a side kick, I straighten it next to the target, I pull it through, and then I re-chamber. A heel kick, I don't do that. A heel kick, I lift that straight leg like a baseball bat, and I pull it through. Most always, when you see that in Taekwondo, it's gonna be a spin heel kick, to fully maximize that momentum, okay? So, let's start out the heel kick. I lift my leg straight, and then my hips pull that straight leg through the target. That, of course, means the rest of my body has to counterbalance the other direction to get that pulling effect. So, heel kick, lift, straight leg, pull through. So the spin heel kick is just that. I step my left foot, I lift my right, and I pull it through, and I put it down under control. I will not bend it until right before, here we go, I will not bend it until right before, boom, the moment I put it down. Does not bend through the target. All right, tips to the spin heel kick. Number one, that thing has to go backwards, not sideways. So I step, I lift, and my body is backwards when I throw it. Tip number two, uh, it has to make a straight line through. A lot of people, myself included at third and fourth degree black belt, that spin heel kick became a creepy crescent kick that was kind of weird. I need to try and get, draw a straight line through the target. So a partner holding two clappers is really helpful for this kick. So step, lift and then watch the leg travels a straight line at the moment of impact. If you're going for a high spin heel kick, then I'm gonna lift it early in the game and then when I get there, boom, it's straight through as it goes high, okay? So that's a tech breakdown of the step spin heel kick found in third degree black belt form. So third degrees, go practice.